Previously on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. You said you had all sex with all these different girls. And that I that I wasn't your true love. You told me in great detail how you fuck Naruto. Oh, no, yeah, that's uh totally totally not true. Totally I gotta go. And now back to kicking monkey ass. Lou Lou Lou. I'm in this fucking hallway again, son of a bitch! <laughs> you know, I was ringing as fast as I could, but the walls keep preventing me from making much headway. I attempt to strike the walls with my persona, but nothing happens. So many invisible walls, one after another. Miss President can pass through them. I don't know if I can keep up the pursuit. I keep running, but yet another, another wall blocks the hallway. First, I think this is a dead end. I realize that I can cut through a classroom and come out the other side of the wall. Force me to enter the room rather than letting me go straight. Straight. This probably means brace myself and point, put my head on the door. Yeah. I want to step inside. A familiar voice echoes in my mind. Hi, senpai. Can you hear me? Please answer me. Oh, hi, real Rise. That voice. Is that you, Rise? The real one? Her voice doesn't come from the PA system. I'm actually, hearing it in my brain, in my brain, in my head. So this has to be the work of Rise. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I've been all alone since that weird fake Teddy captured me, and then you were all fighting each other. I hear the relief in her voice. It sounds so different from the insensitive, rude voice that had been coming from the PA system. This is the Risa I know and <laughs> I've known and made babies with. This is the indeed the Risa I know. Where are you now, Risa? Can you locate where I am? I'm sorry, I don't think there's time. I'm stuck in the announcement room. Please, Senpai, you have to hurry. If you don't, he'll... Risa! What's wrong, Rise? Now, nah, fuck. Nobody touches Rise. Nobody but me. There is no answer. The communication has been cut off. Something happened in the announcement room? My heart begins racing. The enemy made us fight each other as Christmas in this tournament, but they had captured Rise as well. It's clear to me that they must have been worried about her using her persona's powers to tell us the truth, but that's not important right now. She was captured to prevent her from contacting us, and the enemy must think of Rise as being less valuable than those who had to fight. You sound okay, but who knows what might happen to her now? I have to hurry. Pardon me for interrupting while you are lost in thought. <gasps> Fine. <No. laughs> is that who I think it is? <laughs> I handbrush my shoulder. In surprise, I jump away and draw my sword. I can't believe I let myself get lost in thought. I didn't know someone else until they touched me. <laughs> you sound kind of like Nanako, actually. Oh my god. Could it possibly be? Is that you? I guess. Second time I let myself get so distracted. God, you see my friends being with me while we investigate last year. Can't pay attention to the entire world on my own. I need to brace myself. Yes, it is! Look up to see another unfamiliar face. <laughs> but, but only to me, but Nico B knows who it is. Fuck yeah. Agus, I missed you. I haven't seen you in fucking forever. Dude, Agus is awesome. She's like, oh, she's the she's the andro with the heart of gold and the boobs to match. <laughs> girl with blonde hair and striking blue eyes. Wait, a girl? Her face and voice seem human-like, but the rest of her, there's metal everywhere, all over her body. I wonder if this is just an elaborate costume, but I can see the interior frame of her body where her joints connect. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> Hi, Agus. You're, um... Is it Agus or Igus? Igus? Agus? I, I don't know. It's nice to meet you. My name is Igus. Oh, there we go. And no, I am not human. <laughs> you are the one from the introduction video, listed as the sister complex kingpin of steel, <laughs> Narukami-san. Correct? <laughs> you got it, Igus. <laughs> Question catches me off guard. I wasn't expecting a complete stranger to call me that. <laughs> and did she say did she say she wasn't human? <laughs> oh fuck! I love crossovers. <laughs> I was in the last game, don't you remember? But Nico didn't play that, so technically it never happened. But I didn't do a let's play it. As well, when Nioski called me by that stupid stupid title, I knew it was a joke. But when the stranger says it, it sounds like they truly believe it. Ah, <laughs> this is a pain. <sighs> Nanako is important to me, but calling it a complex is stretching things. No, wait a second. I'm starting to play it off, but I end up blurting out Nanaka's name anyway. Calm down. I need to take this conversation away from the subject. Let my throat and try to start it. san was it? Why are you here? Our primary objective is the destruction of shadows, but we have come to this world on a different mission. The destruction of shadows? We? Ooh, she with some of the other Persona 3 guys, then? She fights shadows, but how could she do that if... Yeah, so if you guys don't, I don't know if you never played Persona 3, so she was, that was, she was a, a, she's an android, and she was built with the ability to summon a Persona. She starts off as really without many emotions, but sort of over time kind of develops, like, human emotions, so. And does that mean 
Yes, I have a persona as well. Though my body is a machine, personas are the strength of the heart after all. Just as I thought. I'm surprised to find another persona user outside of my group of friends. And a robot on top of that. Sweet! <laughs> I can't come to grips with all this. <laughs> the way we were talking, she seems like she's a she seems just like a normal person, if only in an interesting suit. True, I've seen stories on the news about robots looking uncanny like real humans, but since I'm like this far beyond those, I still can't be still can't help but believe the evidence of my own eyes. I mean, I've been hopping in and out of TVs for the past year. Who am I to say what's strange or not? Perhaps the technology behind her creation is supernatural roots of its own. I still find myself growing more and more interested in how she came to be here, but I have to put that aside for now. So I need to find out from her first. It's P1 Grand Prix. It's just similar to the events of last year, but to think that it would involve someone like her. I don't have a clear picture of everything that's happening, that's, that's for sure. I caught myself and asked her f ask what, if you would tell me what she's been doing in And what is this world. mission of yours? She opens her mouth to respond, but just then... Ah! Aha! So that's where you got to, Sensei! I've been looking all over for you! Ooh, who's the honey? Were you in the middle of trying to score with her? God damn it, of course I was! As if you didn't know. <laughs> you're the one who lured us both. <laughs> As if you don't already know. Come on, Teddy, I mean, you should know about this point. Oh my, did you figure it out? I didn't have a choice after those guys decided on their own to horn in on the fun! You're a bright boy, Sensei. You know what's coming next, don't you? Gerald the monitor gives me a twisty smile. Could I guess the son's mission be something that would cause cause him trouble. Can't figure out what his motives are, but he's using us to crush each other. In other words, she's the next challenger that's being set against him. I guess honestly, he's understand this as well and is staring at the monitor with such quiet. Do you know time. the rule of this tournament? Only the victor of each match may move on. Yes? I have nothing against you, but I'm in a hurry for my own reasons. Neither of us, in other words, can back down. Then there should be no hard feelings. <laughs> oh, I guess I miss you. She also doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> and here goes. There's no need to hold back. Indeed. Let us do battle. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, fuck. She's gonna use guns. I just got a sword, so they got no unfair. <laughs> I can't remember what her persona was. It's been too long. Oh, Athena. There it is. But they also, you also get, uh, you get stronger personas in that one, too. Like, they're, like, second level ones, so. Final. Okay. Let's do it. Heavy damage. No. He's not. No. Ah. Ah. Okay, hers had, like, a shield. Oh, fucking bazookas. Damn, you got a Gatling gun? Persona. What? Please stay back. Severe impact. Light damage. Fire. Please hit. Uh oh. Severe impact. Ooh. Ah, kick a victory. Thank you. Come again. with the power of a persona. She was made to fight Shaz, but I had no idea what she was capable of. I thought my mind's been drained even more than my body, which is now full of fucking bullets. <laughs> it angers me to see the generals watching over with over us with an expression of joy as if it were some performer for his amusement. I look up and glare at the I don't monitor. know why you're making us fight, but it's pointless. We aren't fighting because we hate each other. The reason we can fight is because we respect and trust each other. Low growl. That's the only sound I hear. The real Teddy's never made such a hateful sound. It's actually rather scary. You're such a dumbass. What's with you? Ah! There's your true. Yes, I knew it. Freaking knew it. Those are the yellow eyes of evil shadows. Which the monitor distorts along with the outburst. General's having a trouble remembering the attack to someone else, and his face bulges and ripples disturbingly as his hate pours through the screen. 
and it sounded like the voice of the girl, right? The the president chick. And he pretty tends to copying in the adorable stupidity of the real Teddy is gone now. And this is the voice is spitting out these hateful words is not Teddy's either. Respect? Trust? So what if you don't hate each other? You're not like me. I was forced to fight against my will. I destroyed them with my own hands. You should all have to go through the hell I suffered. See how it feels to destroy everyone you call a friend. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have made the rules so you had to kill your opponent to move on. Really? Is that it is what they said at the beginning, and, and we just kind of stopped doing it. Turn on the monitor, continues to rage. What are you jump. talking about? Why did you set this tournament up? I want to say that I feel that like all the dots have become connected. When this president asked out of the blue if we were going to force to kill each other, the ominous muttering of killing one another. At least both something that had come directly from her past. Maybe she'd been forced to fight against people she didn't want to fight. Had she been forced to store something that was precious to her? There's no way to know for sure, but it's possible. Considering this is the kind. Staring this, it kind of explains why her shadow would would have created a tournament like this. That is, she wanted us to feel that what she went through. I may not be entirely correct, but I feel like I'm closing close to the truth. Should I just ask General Teddy about my suspicions? But as I'm considering raising my voice, ah! pardon my eccentric entrance. Oh my God! Yes! <laughs> what? Someone came crumbs crashing through the ceiling. In the world, oh my god. I received it. I guess I recognize the voice. I guess I guess sound to protect her from the falling debris. I, I knew it. <gasps> my bread make fanta toast. Mm, it's delicious. Burn my bread. When I look up, I see a young woman emerge from the cloud of dust. It's Elizabeth. Yes, <laughs> I really I love Elizabeth. She was so funny. I actually kind of, like, if I had to choose between La Margaret and Elizabeth, I think I'd go with Elizabeth. Just because she was so funny. Like, she's, she's just sort of like, I don't know, she's so, like, there's so much of the, the world she just doesn't understand at all. So, But she's, it's like her, like, curiosity and, like, it, it was just, it was so hilarious, you know? She'd, like, take, she'd always take something and, like, exaggerate it. Like, you go to, like, a... A fountain to pour, put a coin in for luck or something, and she pours in like a fucking giant bag full of coins. <laughs> well, that's true, I guess. She seems a little uncommon as well. But he, he said it. Why did she have to come through the ceiling? The room has doors. It makes no sense at all. That's exactly what Elizabeth is all about. You should notice too. I hope, I hope you notice that she's dressed like, dressed like Margaret. We never, really, I never really got an explanation for that. So if, if we both exist in the same world. And that Elizabeth is here. Does that mean they're like related somehow, Margaret and Elizabeth? Right? Or something? Or look at the same place? I had been about to get to the heart of the matter with General Teddy, but with the monitor in this room has been destroyed, along with the ceiling. But she seems oblivious to my confusion. The girl cocks her head and apologizes again. Oh, please excuse me. I didn't have the faintest idea that someone would be here. Faintest? Fain? Uh. Fiend? Something along those lines, at any rate. <laughs> hey, what the hell is she talking about? I missed you, Elizabeth. What in the world is this person? Or who in the world is this person? Wait a second. Let's see who she's wearing. Yes, it looks familiar. That silver hair and golden eyes. Are you the from the Velvet Room? Mom, is this what's known as being hit on? Forbidden ritual where one viewer <laughs> approaches another based solely on appearance and bets on the inner set of being equally attractive. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm not hitting on you. You just remind me of someone I know. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am. You did actually get to make babies over there, too, and present through. Awesome. Okay, so that actually sounded like I was really, really was hitting on her. No, I need to stop thinking about that. I can see to ask her Do you happen to know anyone by the name of Margaret? Margaret? Increasing the name, her face seems, sur seems surprisingly youthful. I've been taken aback by her bizarre speech and actions, but could this girl be younger than me? Her smile, her, her profile simultaneously evokes the images of a pondering philosopher and an innocent girl. Yeah, like, Margaret sort of, like, I don't know. Margaret seemed like she understands, like, the ways of the real world. Elizabeth is still kind of, like, naive about a lot of things, you know? I can't figure out how, ex how exactly to speak to her. She's more polite? It doesn't matter too much. Anyway, worrying about the niceties isn't the most important thing right uh, now. Actually, we should introduce ourselves first. I'm Yu Narukami. Oh, that had slipped my mind also. 
My name is Elizabeth. Yeah. Dear me, to hear that name brought with memories in such a mundane, remote place. Yeah. This world's a mundane place? That's confusing. I've seen it, but maybe out of the country, but I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. <laughs> Girl, Elizabeth suddenly bows elegant. Margaret is indeed my sister's name. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't. I never knew that they were related. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Why do you show up in Persona Four then? You're like one of my favorite characters. Can I take that to mean that you are another guest of that room? Yeah. I see. She's Margaret's sister. That's what she reminds me of. Elizabeth Sana. Huh? Well, I guess that's the case. It's true that there was a time when I visited that room. Poor Margaret and now Elizabeth. So there are more people who call that place home than I thought. I'm glad I met Margaret in the last year instead of this girl. I'm guessing this game must have happened before Persona 4 Golden because we're not mentioning Marie at all. So that's probably. Why is a resident of the Velvet Room here? Did Margaret send you with a message or something? I am currently utterly neglecting my duties. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> it doesn't really tell me much, and I have no response anyway. So what? Possessor come blasting into the ceiling instead of using the door. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a... I'm like fangirling so bad right now all this. Like, oh, look, they're all meeting one another. Oh! So I decided to bother asking her that. There's so many different people over the last year, but trying to have a conversation with this girl is like trying to ride a wild horse. She's going to ignore the direction I'm using to... I'm trying to steer us towards just... And just veer off wherever she wants. Best not to hold on and go along for the ride, then. If I pay attention, she'll tell me something worth my time. Even if I try to ask her any questions, she'll likely just be confused anyway. Since I'm having that thought, the girl seems to have noticed my hesitation, so let's talk about herself. Her eyes are lit up with a sincere passion. She really is hard one to read. I have a certain desire. It may take a very long time for it to be realized. In order for my wish to be granted, I require a power much greater than what I have. The power of the wild heart that changes bonds into strength. I have a feeling that the key lies there. <laughs> oh, I got that. I know a little about the wild card, but... I feel that the first blue to granting my wish lies within that power. Blue? <laughs> blue? Influenza. Something along those lines, at any rate. She's having trouble coming up with the right words, but I can hear the sincerity in her speech. Probably. <laughs> in other words, I think she means that the power of the wild card related to her desire and came here. I don't think it's worth asking how she knew I had that power or where she found out about it. Just I'm struggling to follow these meandering path of her conversation. She brings up an outrageous suggestion. Might I suggest that you and I fight? <laughs> You're like, uh, I what? So please tell me how she reached the conclusion that this is a good idea. I never actually, I, to be honest, I never, again, just like Margaret, there's an optional battle where you can fight her, but again, it has to be take place in New Game Plus. That's the only way you can fight her, I, I think. So I never got to, I never got that optional fight. It's supposed to be like the hardest fight in the game, now. I think I have a chance to, I didn't, I don't think I have a chance of talking her out of it, though. Of course, I have to try, so I say, we're gonna fight each other? Give me a break. Oh, how excited this is making me. <laughs> My expectations are ascending skyward at mock speed. <laughs> to be direct, I'd like for you to show me the potential slumbering within you. Um, let me make sure of something, just in case. You understand what I'm saying, right? There's no illusions at work? Such parlor tricks can get stopped. I see. <laughs> so you're actually in your right mind here. That's kind of, uh, impressive. I'll make sure you understand what I meant when I mentioned the illusions. That's so that she at least must have some idea of what's going on around here. And then she might be un un might understand it. She still wants to fight me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you guys are supposed to be like really fucking strong. <laughs> Wonder though, she's unrelated to General Teddy's plan. General Teddy's plans invite her to the tournament. Did the usual rules apply? Let's think about this. Elizabeth son taps her foot on the ground and takes a fighting posture. She really does want to fight. This other bound book in her hand opens up just as if by herself. Ooh. What was she? she have a persona? So what would her what would her persona be? A torn of power pours from the open book with a blue light. I can't believe this strange girl has such an unimaginable power. She seems so aloof. Though it may be more correct to call it an air of an imminent violence. <laughs> Alright. I won't be able to hold back. To be honest, I was really only saying that in hopes of bluffing her. There's absolutely no room to hold back in this fight. I really cast off my fear and focus on this on the upcoming battle. So never for a doubt, I need to hit her with my full strength from the start. If I were to fire her with the intent of killing her, I'll be lucky not to end up dead myself. At least that's how I feel. 
Let's do the song calmly and begins the battle. Let us do this. Your fate is in the cards. Ah. God dang it, why does everyone want to beat me up so bad? What did I do? Elizabeth, I love you. Don't murder me, please. Oh, Thanato Th uh, Thana Th Thanatos. Thanatos. <laughs> Burn my bread and make Thanatos. Mm, yummy. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Finally. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Where'd I go? Uh oh. What, what the hell was that? Oh no! She cast some fear on me. Holy Santa shit. Ah. Oh boy. She's kind of kicking my ass right now. No, 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 no. Ow, stop doing that. Oh, booyah, baby. Oh. It's kind of cool hearing the songs from original game. Oh, my gosh, she's blocking your my attack with her book. That is a durable book. So I thought I managed to throw her off balance. Elizabeth's song back up elegantly as if nothing had just happened. Suddenly I felt an intensity build up in the air. Don't tell me she hadn't been t taking this seriously at all up till now. Ah, oh, fuck. Next morning I was swallowed into a torrent of power like a leap being blown into the air without the slightest understanding of what's, what's happening. My vision blurs I'm sp if I've spun about and before I can tell f up from down, the floor jumps toward me and I'm slammed to the ground. Am I going to lose? It's my cautious face. I see the faces of my friends in I guess son. All those who I'd all those I'd fought up against until now. It's like the story that you see your life flash before your eyes, just before you die. Now nah, but am I dying? Can I really accept that? No! I need to die no account! I can't me! I can me! It's not over. I haven't lost yet. Why don't I have to order to save my friends? <laughs> These both mean the same thing, honestly. <laughs> no, I'll fight as much as you. I have to keep fighting. Ugh. Come so far, I can't lose heart. No! Need to do that cool move I did at the end of the last game! Just really forced my legs to move and managed to stand up again. Elizabeth Son showed us her book with an air of finality. I see. I am quite content with this outcome. It seems you possess true strength. I always wonder what like I always wonder like it's, it's you know, it's, it's again it was like that with Margaret too. They're just their intre and Igor too. Their their interest in how your life and the decisions you make and all that plays out. I always, I always find that very interesting. The only torrent of power suddenly ceases without warning. Is it over? <laughs> as I come to understand that I continue to stand in shock, stock still, unable to I move. I believed you were at the limits of your stamina after the battle against Igis earlier. In actuality, your heart almost gave in during your struggle with me. But each time you faltered, the many hearts supporting you gave you strength, helping you to rise again. <sighs> She cuts herself off and nods, her, nods to herself as if to confirm some this suspicion. This was truly an intriguing battle. I believe our encounter has borne much flute. Nah. Flute? Flu? Chimneys. In any case, <laughs> I am quite pleased. After a battle, she acts like that. Like a fool for believing that she really would have killed me. It felt quite real at the time. <laughs> I can't believe any of this. My legs get out under me and I sink to the ground. Maybe she understands how I feel. Elizabeth's sound looks straight into May my eyes. May I ask you something? Sure. To continue fighting in order to prevent an undesirable future. It is a path of endless hardship. Yeah. Would you still choose to walk it? Margaret had said something similar just before this tournament had begun. How, I, how I had overcome the ordeal concerning last year's case and opened the door. Margaret's and Elizabeth's son's words come together in my yeah. mind. Working for a better <laughs> <Yeah>. tomorrow <laughs> isn't just a one-time thing. The tomorrows keep coming. Putting the door is necessary, but it's not what's truly important. What's important is making sure that you follow the path that's beyond the door. But once you have that path in mind, does it matter whether you've opened the door or not? That's why I, I would keep fighting for the future we want. Fuck yeah! What's up, Johnny Youngbosh? This Bassan smiles at my answer. It seems the former dweller of the Velvet Room is pleased with my answer. So I guess she did. But she just doesn't go to the Velvet Room anymore. Is that why she wasn't in the second in Persona Four? And Margaret was. 
think I actually remember, did I remember Margaret actually mentioning something like that? Like, someone who used to work there, and then, like, she, like, left? I think? I, I think that might have actually been mentioned, like, very briefly in Persona 4. I kind of just remembered. I'm not sure if she said it was her sister, but said someone, like, used to work there. And if they've, like, gone out on their own or whatever. She has chosen a path of her own at some point and is doing everything in her power to see it through. I'm drawing a conclusion, but I feel as if I'm able to understand her a little bit better. Well, then. It's time for me to bid you adieu. By your leave, I, Elizabeth, am out of here. <laughs> this Elizabeth briskly walks out of the room. Okay, bye. <laughs> she caused me some trouble, but I've also learned something about myself as well. I think I'll call it a draw. <laughs> I wave, as I wave goodbye to Elizabeth while lying bleeding on the floor, I hear Igis on getting to her feet behind me. Of course, she actually, yeah, I guess wouldn't know who she is either. <laughs> I don't think. I. <laughs> oh. Actually, wait, was she? Because in the, and then I think about it in the downloadable content, or no, not download. Uh, the Persona Three uh, FES, you get like a bonus thing where I guess like I guess she temporarily gets a the power of the wild card. I can't really remember how it goes though, so I guess she sort of I don't know. Are you all right? You shouldn't force yourself to move. I was concerned at first, but I guess San doesn't seem to be very hurt or damaged or whatever you would say. She was likely just knocked out. <laughs> it's kind of funny how Elizabeth just kind of showed up randomly and then just leaves. <laughs> Absolutely no chance of winning if I had gone easy on her either. This is getting, this is getting You're ridiculous. very kind. We've only just met, and yet you're worried about a machine like myself. Well, it helps you smoke it hot. No, I'm just kidding. Right? <laughs> Please, you're awesome, I guess. Everybody loves no. you. Isn't that normal? I guess I'll last my Seeing you smile like that? I don't know. I just can't think of you as a machine. You have a heart, right? And it doesn't matter whether you're man or machine. Agasa stops laughing and thinks deeply for a moment. After a few seconds, she looks back up at me with a serious look You have eyes. defeated me in single combat. That will make it difficult for me to continue forward. But I believe I can trust you. Will you listen to my mission directive? Yeah. No reason to say no. I look at Agasa straight in the eye, square in the eye and nod reassuringly. And so Agasa told me about her directive and it was truly surprising. There was another case involving personas and shadows outside of Inaba. Even before our adventure last year. Hey! She's a weapon with a heart created with the express purpose of wielding a persona to fight the shadows. She believes that the current situation came to be because of someone who had stolen a similar weapon and caused it to enter the TV world. So, there's another girl robot with a heart like oh. you? And she's the cause of all this? Ew. So that must be the, uh, Miss President person, right? We came to this world to retrieve her. My older sister, the ah. fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys, is in this world somewhere. <laughs> Her sister, that's funny. I see. Oh, and that's why she's so fucking... So she is bionic! Ah! <laughs> that's why she was so fucking insanely strong. Nautico Miss present her shadow, now Labrys. I have a mountain of tasks to accomplish now. But even now, but even though I have a lot to do, I can't ignore it Tell me more about Labrys, and I'll do what I can to help you get her back. Unfortunately, I guess the song expression. Uh, I guess the song's expression clouds. She said that she was a machine, but that she really is no different from human. As I'm listening to her, I think about what this means in my search for her Labrys. It's not helpful. So you don't know what she looks like, what she can do, or what equipment she's loaded with. Basically, all she can tell me is Labrys is a robot who's built to look like a girl. Wait a second. I did meet a girl I didn't know in the TV world. Miss President. Could Miss President be Labrys? Is there a possibility that she looks. well. More human than you? You mentioned earlier that she was your older sister, so I assume she was built before you, but... She probably looks less human. I'm... Well, the other one... the sh Her shadow has the ability to change her appearance, right? Maybe she has the same thing? My sister was an older model. A prototype for the fifth generation, to be exact. It's doubtful that she would look more human than myself. And there's no way Miss President could be Labrys. I could tell at first glance that I guess I was a machine. Miss President appears to be completely human. Come on! Come on, man. Come on, you. Usually, you've been able to figure this shit out so far. I never consider that she might be not be human until now. But that just makes things even more complicated. What in the world's going on inside this All fucking right. television? In any case, I'll keep an eye out for her. But right now, I'm heading to the announcement room. If Labrys is the cause of this, then I'm bound to meet up with her eventually. I shrug slightly. I don't want to be so grave. I guess I'm a sense of what I'm trying to do and Thank smiles. Thank you. I will trust my sister's fate to you. 
of course. I'll give Agus son a determined nod and run out of the classroom. Yeah! Oh, I'm in this hallway again! <laughs> Motherfucker! But man, what a busy golden week. I'd make sure Nanaka's okay if I'm Miss President, unmask whoever's masquerading as Teddy, and now search for Labra somewhere in here. Yeah, god dang it. God dang doodly. This wasn't happening. I'd be kicking with my kicking with my friends at Juno's Food Corps. I should just make a game like that, where the whole I don't do anything but just bomb with my fucking classmates. That'd be awesome. You guys seem to be, seem to be trying to be coy, but I'm pretty sure that big bundle she was carrying was probably box lunches that she made. As how they might taste, well, that's not that's not good soundtrack. I'm sure, I'm sure we'd all have enjoyed them anyway somehow. <laughs> oh, they would have killed us. Eventually, I would have called Monica over and we would have had bought some snacks over too. There were things I wanted to buy from the Shiraku store, and maybe I could. I could have made it to the Suzu Dai Daigaku in time to buy the lace of their special croquets. Mm. <laughs> I want to talk with the owner of Diodar and get some books at the Yum Mineta bookstore. Go buy some new badass weapons. He's also got a quest back at home, too. <laughs> Man, it's never it's never a dull day for Downey on Bosch. I had a, I've had I'd had a I've had a, a stick bullet. I uh oh no, I would have had my big meaty bowl. Finish that shit. Hung out with the fox at the Tatsuhime Shrine. Wait for my uncle so we could have had dinner. Have dinner, and tomorrow I'd have gone fishing. Caught that fucking giant guardian thing again. The one who ruined my vacation caused all these problems is the same person who stole Labrys. They truly brought Nanka back in the TV world. Oh, no, let them go for that. I will catch them. No matter what. They're not getting away from me. I'm gonna fuck them up. So run on. Come across here. Another blue door. Perhaps it's a sign that I need to calm down. True, I need it. I mean, I may have lost my cool fur. Summoned here? Again? <laughs> God dang. Reach towards the door with a relaxed smile. Damn, Margaret, what? <laughs> I just met your sister. She kind of beat the shit out of me. I wonder why Igor is in here. Oh, is it because... Uh, I wonder if it's because of the um, original voice actor for him died. and not, not, the, not the English one, but the Japanese one died. Maybe the, so maybe he's not coming. I, yeah, I'm wondering. I don't think he'll be in Persona 5, which would be kind of sad, actually, because he's such a well, he, was, he was so cool. Margaret's in her usual position. I glance around to see if there's anyone else in here. Looks like her nutcase of a sister isn't here. Margaret notices me looking inside a seductive so sound that also conveys annoyance. It seems my sister has caused you some trouble. Yeah. Though this may mean that I'm not the only one who is drawn to the light of your potential. I just want to make so many babies with you. A bit of a tenderness towards her sister in her words. Her sister must be important to her. Definitely the look on her face. Do I look like that when I talk about Nanako? Marker pulls herself together and speaks you again. You have gained a new resolve by overcoming many doubts and falsehoods. A new resolve in my balls. I found myself nodding along. You have reached the threshold of truth. But man's hearts are mutable. That is why a resolve to continue fighting is more important than any one victory or defeat. Yeah, I understand. But this will be a difficult battle without end. Are you equal to the challenge? Fuck yeah. The way she puts it makes it seem as if she was testing me. I, did, I didn't respond imme immediately and think about the question. I'd be lying to say I'm not worried. I know that my heart can be swayed by change. There's no, there's not, there's no knowing that what will happen from moment to moment. But even if I have my friends, if I'm not alone, I can do it. I see. Very nice little I have response. heard your answer, but it's not enough. Remember what I told you before? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Leave. She smiles my vision against a blur. Your words being repeated. I have reached the threshold of truth. Everything that's happened during the course of this case runs through my mind. The appearance of the TV world, this tournament pitting us against each other, and that student council president and a fucking fake little shit teddy. My counter with a weapon with a heart and I guess son searching for her sister Labrys. Getting smacked around by Margaret's younger sister and the determination that I've gained through these kinds of battles? What I must accomplish? How do I show how do I show that I've decided through my actions? Yeah. And then all of a sudden I was back in the velvet room again. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, all right. This goes on for a while. <laughs> this, this section is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Story section. It's cool though. I, I like it. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I know it's a lot of it's text heavy but I find it very interesting um I saw all these characters I know and love so much and now I got some three characters in here it's just so cool it seems that the number of visible walls have decreased could this mean that the end is near 
Because I think I, I hear That's from their enough. voice. Oh. That was Miss President's voice. It's coming from the door of the announcement room. I finally made it. Yes, I did it. I opened the door of the announcement room. I rush in. I kick it open. I'm like, what? Hmm, you're finally here. Hello, Sensei. Hello, Newman. Congratulations. How does it feel to have won the P1 Grand Prix? Sweet, what do I get? Gerald smirks at me as I pass through the door. Behind it, Miss President and Risei. The two of them see me. Miss President looks confused, while Risei faces face lights up with joy. There you are, Senpai. You're late. Hey, Risei. Stay cautious of the general, but I signal to the girls that everything will be all right now. It's all right. You Narukami is here to save the day. The general is closer to me to them than I than I am. I can't afford to make any reckless moves just yet. And there's one more thing I need to know. Teddy, where's Nanako? I look around the announcement room, but Nanako's nowhere to be found. Girl's face is sourced with an ugly glow. Nanachan's right here. See? So the general extends the arm that was that was held behind him. And there was Nanako! Nanako! No, Nanako, what are you doing here? <laughs> Arms are clustered to her chest, so she only takes a few steps towards me, obviously frightened. Nanako! After taking a step forward, I noticed something bizarre. The general disappeared. For a brief instant, my full attention had been focused on. Focus on Nanako. The general had been standing directly behind her, but now she's now he's gone. He could have gone somewhere else so quickly, right in front of me, without me noticing. Bro. I'm confused about the general's disappearance. Nanako weakly calls to me. No! I was obviously been weakened by being in the TV. She totters towards me unsteadily, looking ready to collapse at any moment. I can think about the general a little. Fuck that! Fuck that little shit! I save Nanako right now as I reach out to Risa Yell. Senpai, no! Nanako-chan's not there! Nanako's not there. She's saying she's right here. Uh oh. I was about to say that, my hand stops. Oh no. Something's not right. To look at Danaka's face once more. In her eyes, I saw madness. Oh, so close! Just a little more, and Sensei would have been a goner! Ah! You bastard! Barely re re reacted in time to draw my sword to block the attack. The general suddenly appeared out of nowhere to attack me with his cane, and I get a good look at him as our weapons clash together. I see the madness in his face, the same madness I'd seen in Nanako only a moment before. That's when I noticed that Nanako has disappeared. What's going on? You've got it wrong, Senpai. It's all been him from the beginning. He can make whoever's looking at him see him as someone else. So he's not actually taking on other forms? No, he's just distorting the things you see and hear. I see. Okay. That's right. The enemy is able to control what I see and hear. I realized that after all the battles I had had today, by but seeing Nanako had made me forget all that. Journal lasts. <laughs> it's hard for me to show someone who isn't here, but you actually saw this Nanako girl? You're hopeless. Just like how my friends hadn't actually gone crazy before our fights. Nanako had never been brought into this world in, in the first place. Well, that's good at least. The person before, before me is a fake. Stored our senses all to, all to make us suffer. Just like I thought he couldn't deceive Risei's persona abilities. Risei kicked monkey ass. That's why I kidnapped her to keep her from warning us through this tournament. I don't know that. I pushed the general's cane away and jumped back towards the girl and girls in order to assist myself from him. Good. Now I'm between them and the general. I then look straight at the one behind this bizarre situation. Who in the world are you? <laughs> you still can't tell? Seriously. The level of intelligence around here. Fine then. Here. Get a good look. Uh oh. Oh no. Tannic, what are you doing? Able Tannic? <laughs> oh no. Teddy, oh, your little goopy stuff's coming out. Uh, oh. Turn into a ball. Whoa. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep. It's a fucking machine. That must be Labrys. I guess Labrys's shadow, right? So yeah, yep, and it is that girl. Yep, wow, very. <laughs> and she's definitely much more mechanical than I guess was. <laughs> ah, ah. I am a shadow. The true self. All right, this is now. This is when I say, no, don't, don't accept it. Don't say that. I mean, don't say that's not you. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna forget, like I do every fucking time. That's 
my face. I saw metal limbs, golden eyes, a ponytail. A mirror image of Miss, per Miss President's face, even though she was staying right behind me, trembling. How about it? You wanted to see what I am, didn't you? Why... Why does she look like me? That's its true form. That thing is your shadow. This is a shadow? She really came from inside me? She try to, tries to call Miss President, but the girl shakes her head in denial and squeezes her eyes shut. No. No! Miss President refuses to look at this mechanical looking being. I never understand what is going on. Because this isn't the first time I've seen a robotic girl before. Though the facts match up. Like she was able to run so fast without so much as breathing heavily, even in the TV world. The sense of wrongness that I had when I, when Miss President had asked me about killing my friends. Was she avoid telling me her name and the superhuman strength that she had when she hit Chie and that incredible jump she to get away from us. And the Shadow's ability to interfere with the senses of other people. Just Margaret had said that all the pieces of the puzzle were laid out before me. It all come together now I can see the freaking truth. She's indeed Labrys. Labrys, another weapon with a heart stolen by someone unknown and thrown to the TV world, created this school and enforced us to fight our friends. This deeper depression guarding her past memories, all this took the form of Labrys, the Shadow, who manipulated everything here. Labrys, don't look away. If you don't accept her, she'll get even stronger. Just, just say, okay, as you, hugger, run. <laughs> but Miss Prez Labrys only shivers when I call out to her. Has to be some other reason why she believed that she was the student council president. But that's just a disguise. More for herself than for us. No matter how uncomfortable it is, it's only there to cloud your eyes from the truth. I don't know what your past was like. It must have had some painful memories. But you have us with you now. We're going to get you out of here. No, we're going to be your best friends forever. I call to Labrys while keeping an eye on the shadow. The shadow is the darkness within a person's heart. Unless it is accepted by the person that came from it, it will never disappear for good. But with that in mind, all we can do is watch over her as she accepts this darkness within her. We'll have to protect her when the shadow goes berserk and tries to kill her. Because, <laughs> well, because they never, they never fucking accept it the first time. But Labrys continues to shake her head and tremble violently. Her words aren't getting through to her. You hear that, me? Your friend is trying to tell you something. Too bad he doesn't understand at all. These clowns are so hopelessly naive. The shadow laughs shrilly. It continues to smear more poison into Labrys' heart. I wish I could have made them feel my pain. What it's like having to murder one another. That sadness and pain and anguish. Everything went black, and I was always left alone. I'm a weapon, a machine made only to fight. No human can understand my suffering. Stop! I've had enough! I'm human! I'm not like that! This isn't good. Still no fighting stance ready for anything, though I have a good idea what's going to happen. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're still clinging to that. Then take a look at what you really are. Shows I gleam with a golden light. The change begins immediately. Uh oh. Shimmer runs across Lapis' body. Instead of the normal human girl there had been a moment ago, she has a metallic body, just like her shadow. Labrys loses all composure and scratches at her arms, trying to tear away the metal that has appeared. There was more to her change than that, just her arms. Her legs, waist, and even her head. Everything not covered by her clothing was now obviously mechanical. The reality that she didn't want to face. There are no words that we can say to her. No matter what we say, reality won't change. Labrys falls to her knees and finally mutters the words I was dragging she'd say. What? No! Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I see. I unlock stuff is... Oh, no, but... Oh, to be continued. What the fuck? You can't... That's like... Wow. Way to totally blue balls me, game. <laughs> oh, well, she's worried she's dreading, dreading to say there. To be continued. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, uh... All right, um... <laughs> I guess that's the end for now. I guess you have to... I guess you have to unlock more before you can finish it. Oh, kind of sucks. But, uh... I don't know. How, how do you guys want me to do this? So, I know a lot of it sort of overlaps. I think... I don't know. I'm definitely skipping a lot of these guys, I think. I don't know. I mean, what do I have to do to unlock this one, you know? Should I just do that and then just skip over it and then come back and finish it or should I is there something I should show and over others you know I, I don't know you know like what's different and 
what isn't and or what's different enough for another playthrough. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Let me hear your opinions, and uh, I'll try to try to work find the best way to to proceed through this. So, um, but as uh, this is over here, you can see this is the beginning of the Ultimax version. It's uh, looks like it's, it's done a bit differently. So, I think it's a bit more. Uh, uh, I I don't know. I think it's more coherent. But uh, but uh, anyway. Like for you enjoyed, subscribe now to come pick a penguin aboard the SLP. The days are sunny and the vids are always funny. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far. And there's also a bunch of other stuff I can do. And there's like arcade mode and other things I can do to mix things up a bit if you want. Um, but uh, anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy. Ah, 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 ah.